Hi everyone, I'm Gary with FLUX RC. Welcome to our test today. Uh, we're going to be testing the E-Flight Delta V32 80mm fan and we're going to be running our Mega Motor 28mm uh, 1640 1.5 SEC. Uh, this is going to be a little hotter motor than the stock E-Flight motor and uh, this is going to be a lower amperage uh, and possibly high more power 8 cell setup. Uh, we're going to be using our XPS light posts today. These are um, 4,000 milliamp uh, 65C packs. Nice little eight cell spark there.
get a quick temp on the motor. Motor temperature is 122. And we'll let it cool down a little bit. <laughs> Now we're down to 105 on the temperature after a little bit of a cool down. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here on the eagle tree. We'll just zoom in here real quick so that we can uh, get some video of that. So we're looking at uh, high amps here of um, well, roughly 77. And um, RPMs were 51,000 and 51,282. And the uh, high watts was uh, 22.91, and that was for about uh, well, that's about a, about a five minute run time with uh, a lot of full throttle runs and uh, a lot of half throttle and a little bit less for uh, the downwind back stretches. Um, so that's it for our test. Oh, and let's see the um, we already zoomed in on our. F flux velocity meter, and uh, we're looking at uh, 209 miles an hour was the F flux velocity. Uh, so that's about 10 miles an hour faster than our 6 cell setup. Uh, the 6 cell mega motor setup uh, gave us 199 mile an hour F flux. Um, we're running an, an ESC. Uh, not an ESC. We were running um, a heat sink on this just for safety. Um, I really don't think you're going to need it. The motor came down at what, 122 degrees, something like that. So you're not going to need the heat sink with this. Um, and the amps are pretty low. Heck, you can uh, just about use a uh, 75 amp speed controller with this thing, really. Um, I don't know, you'd be right at the limit there. But uh, most Castle ESCs will take that all day long. Well, that's it for our test today, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Gary with FluxRC. This Mega Motor application test that we just did today was uh, specifically for the Habu 32, which we have on the bench now. Um, we ran the bench test for you guys today, and uh, now that we've done the test, we're going to put this um, setup in our Habu 32 and uh, fly it for you guys. That'll be the next video you see. Okay, so while I'm here there's a couple other things I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I just charged the batteries up that we just ran on the bench test for the uh, E-Flight fan and the Mega Motor. Um, we put back uh, approximately 2,210 milliamps in um, batteries that we were using. And of course, this was the 8-cell XPS uh, 4,000 packs. Um, we ran that. We ran that test uh, for about. Well, the whole test was on for about six minutes. We probably ran the fan at least for five, and um, we can look at the timer on on the on the ET display. Um, 
So we put back 2,210 milliamps on these 4,000 packs. Here we have a screen to screen comparison of the 6L setup and the 8L setup. The uh, setup that we just ran, we're at 51,282 RPMs as opposed to 48,076. So that's a little better than 3,000 RPM gain. Um, on the F-Lux, we saw 209 miles an hour as opposed to 199 miles an hour um, on the F-Lux on the 6S setup. And that was still pretty good. That's with a 100% uh, FSA. And of course, we're just using the stock E-Flight inlet ring. Um, the amps are uh, about 10 amps lower. On the 6L setup, we had uh, 88 amps. And now we're pulling 77 amps on the 8S setup. So you could probably get away with using a uh, 75 amp ESC. Uh, the Castle ESCs will be just fine. You're right, you're right at the limit. Um, if you provide airflow to it, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Um, I think that's about it. Um, you know, the watts, uh, we were just a bit over 2,000 watts at 2,034 on the 6 cell setup. And we're now pulling uh, 200 and, uh, 2,291 watts doesn't make any difference. The bottom line is your RPMs that you're spinning the fan at and the flux, And, of course, uh, the thrust that uh, we'll see um, here as soon as I um, zoom in on it. That's, that's the peak thrust, but... Um, Anyhow, you'll see it while it's running as well. You'll see the uh, settled out thrust. So that's about it. That, uh, that wraps up our test today. Um, I think it's a good setup. We're going to push it even more um, later on. I think this is a good solid motor though. Um, it ran nice and cool. Uh, 121 degrees I believe it was with the heat sink. So that's it, I guess. That wraps it up. Um, that's our test for today, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.